Bit and Darpa Punnin, oh how know you Stephen Richardson, a Kembra, a gas, did it. Well this is the first time I've managed to get out to do a wild camp in 2020 what with all the lockdown restrictions, uh, Covid-19 and having to work a lot actually which I guess I'm lucky to do given all the restrictions that other people are facing but anyway I'm out here in Wales and I'm in the Brecon Beacons I'm planning on doing um, a circular route right now I'm in the Tav Brecon uh, forest making my way up to the slopes of the Brecon Beacons I'm planning on climbing up to the ridge from the Upper Neath Reservoir um, go along the ridge up to Corn D first and then on to Penny Van and then find somewhere to wild camp just down off the ridge somewhere and then tomorrow I'll be walking back past Cribbin and Valley Beak and then back to my car so that's the plan I guess we'll see how it goes So I've just about made it through the forest um, and I've been rewarded with my first proper sight of today's objective. So I'll just give you a quick view of where I am. So I'm about an hour into my micro adventure and I'm just about to start my first major climb of the day. It's going to be about 340 meters or so. So before I start that, I'm just going to have a quick uh, drink and a quick snack.
Okay, so I've made it about two thirds of the way up. Just got one last final push to get up onto the bridge. So I finally made it to the top of the ridge. And now the plan is to head across that ridge and find a uh, good and maybe have some lunch there. I haven't quite made it to Corn D just yet. I decided to stop and have a bit of lunch anyway and get on there uh, just after two o'clock. So I finally made it to the top of Courtney. It's been very difficult work, especially with a 20 kilogram pack. Um, but when you get up here, the views are absolutely amazing. And it's worth all the effort. So I'll show you a few shots of the views. So that's cribbing done. Now we're on to Penny Van. See you at the top. So I'm at the top of Penny Van. So I've got an hour or two yet before I have to start thinking about setting up for the night. Um, as you can see, it's still quite busy up here. Lots of people around.
it's 20 past six and I've just got all my uh, tent set up, got everything unpacked and just treated myself to a cup of coffee and got a great little campsite here, some great views. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drink my coffee and I'm going to explore a bit, perhaps take some photographs or some video and then I'll get on and make some tea and then that should, uh, should be getting dark then. Good morning, it's 5.30 and I've had a really good night's sleep, probably one of the best nights I've had um, while camping in quite a while. Now I'm just going to try and get some breakfast, have a cup of coffee and then get packed away and make my way up to the top of Cribbin. That's going to be the biggest challenge of the day but it's right here and now so it's going to be the first thing that I attempt this morning and it's a climb of about 130 metres from where I am um, and then after that there's going to be a few more ups and downs as I go along the ridge but it's basically going to be walking along the ridge and then back down to the car. So here we go with breakfast. up again now um, all ready to go start on my climb up cribbing I'll just give you a quick look around the camp make sure I've left no trace at all that's where I was all that there is to show for it is a bit of flat grass I've managed to struggle up Cribbin and um, what a view, it's absolutely amazing. Um, there's, on one side we've got the sun just climbing into the sky now and on the other side there's clouds everywhere just evaporating away as soon as they uh, meet the sun from over Cribbin. So yeah, absolutely amazing. I've got to go all the way down there just to go all the way back up there. Wow, well, better get on with it. down 
and now I managed to get back up again and I've got to the top of Barney Beak. So I have a quick look around up here and then I'm going to be heading off towards the Beacon Way and then back to the car. <music> So looking back here, we've got from yesterday um, a corn D in the middle penny van and then from this morning that's cribbing and then looking back around here that's Fanny, Fanny Beak. So it's a bit more like Dartmoor on this part of the journey. back to the car um, so that's the end of another micro adventure my micro adventure in the Brecon Beacons um, if you've enjoyed it please help me out by subscri subscribing to my channel uh, drop a like on the video and all that other good stuff so thanks for coming along on the journey and I'll see you on the next one